Hi, I'm Marcus and I'm going to cook for you my Borsan garlic and herb gnocchi with the tomato and vegetable ratatouille. So first thing we need to do is get our tomatoes and I'm going to take them off the vines and we're just going to put a little score just in the bottom and then we're just going to lower these in some boiling water. Okay, so let's get those tomatoes out now. And you can just see what's happened is that boiling water's just seeped through under the skin so you can just peel back that skin. These are all done, so we've just chopped those down, kept the seeds in them as well, so, but no skins. Turn that hob on. Little touch of oil going in there. A bit of onion and a bit of garlic going in, so. Then we're gonna add the tomatoes and all our selection of vegetables to really build lots of flavor in there. Some nice green peppers, and while the red peppers, courgettes, and then I'm gonna add my chopped tomatoes. And I've also got some tomato puree. It's really good for the base of the sauce. And I'm just gonna bind all that together. Okay, so the next thing to go in is some fresh thyme. A few little bits at a time, broken down. And then the last ingredient is just the aubergine, because it's a little bit softer, so it doesn't take as long to cook. So aubergine's going in. Give that a good stir together. Just a little touch of water, about a label full. And stir all that together again. And then a little bit of seasoning. And we're just going to turn that right down and just let that simmer away for about five or ten minutes until we've got our gnocchi ready. Okay, so I've just got my potatoes out of the oven. Now what we do is just to slice them straight down, opening them up, and then I'm just going to scoop these into a bowl that I've already got ready. Now the next thing we need to do is to make sure this is really nice and fine because we don't want any lumps in our gnocchi. So, next thing we do is just literally to grab our potato, pop it in our ricer, just squeeze those through. And we're going to get our garlic and herb portions. I'm just going to add three of these portions into this. And then I'm just going to give that a good mixing with a spoon. Next thing we're going to add in is just an egg yolk. So I've got a whole egg yolk straight into here. Stir that together as well. And then the next thing we're going to pop in there is a little bit of parmesan. Again, just making sure you mix it completely through. And then of course, very important, a little bit of seasoning. So we need a little touch of salt in there, a little bit of pepper. And then the thing that we're going to bring it together with is just our flour. So some plain flour. We're just going to put a little bit in at a time. I don't want to do this all at once. So you can see now. It's formed a really nice dough, and then we're going to get that ready for rolling out and cutting into our gnocchi. So I'm going to grab some flour, and then we're just going to grab our dough, and we're going to basically roll it just with both our hands into a long sort of sausage shape. And now we've got our long sausage shape, what we're going to do is just take a couple of pieces off the end. Now keep them nice and even, so you want the shape to be exactly the same as we go through, so they're all going to cook at the same rate. And we're just literally just going to drop them off the end. Now you could leave your gnocchi in that shape if you wanted, or you can ball them in your palm of your hands just to make a nice little round ball. So the next thing we're gonna do is get our pan warmed up, okay? And also get our water boiling ready to blanch them. Now we're gonna add our gnocchi. I'm just gonna lower those into the water, okay? We keep an eye on these, you'll notice within literally about 30 seconds, they'll decide they wanna float. As soon as they float, we're gonna take them straight out. Okay, so if you have a look at these, they're just starting to rise and just come to the top of the surface of the water. Just get our slotted spoon, just lift them out very gently, and just pop them onto some kitchen towel, and just take them out and let them dry for a second. The next thing we're gonna do is we wanna get them a nice brown color because they look a little bit pale at the moment. So what we do, turn the frying pan on, a little touch of oil in the bottom of the frying pan, and then we're gonna get our cooked gnocchi and just drop them in. And we're just gonna get a nice color on all the sides. Okay, so you can just see they're getting nice and golden on top now. Just to finish them off, we're going to put a drop of butter in there. It's going to help give a little richness to it. A little toast around on there, making sure they get browned on all the sides. So the last thing we're going to do is a little bit of seasoning. Our tomato and vegetable ratatouille has just been reducing down. And I try to keep the shape as well, so I don't want to over reduce it. I want a little bit of texture to those vegetables and keeping that lovely bright colour as well into that bowl, nice base there, and our lovely golden gnocchi to sit on top. 
And there you have it, my fantastic Borsa garlic and herb gnocchi with tomato and vegetable ratatouille. To discover more recipes, go to borsa.co.uk. 